The NRL just continues to amaze with the 2021 season electric so far. Many preseason predictions have already been tossed out the window, and as we enter the midway point of the season, I wanted to highlight the five biggest surprises of the 2021 NRL season so far. As always, this video is completely subjective. Number five, Benji Marshall. Okay, so I might be a bit biased with this selection, but who really would have thought that Benji was going to perform so well? Without a contract for most of the 2021 offseason, Marshall thought his career might have been over. It was only when Wayne Bennett threw Benji a lifeline that Marshall had a gig for the 2021 season. He was supposed to just provide cover for the star partnership of Reynolds and Walker and have a brief cameo here and there off the bench. Although in 2021, Benji has been one of the Bunnies' standouts, filling in excellently both off the bench and in a starting role, as he already has three tries, which is more than he had in the entirety of the 2020 season. Marshall may not be the most outstanding player in the NRL, but what he's producing as the oldest player is pretty impressive. Number 4, the Manly Sea Eagles resurgence. Pre the return of Tom Trevojevic, Manly were the laughing stock of the NRL, sitting in third last with only a scrappy win against the Warriors. Their season was already on the brink, and pundits had already excluded the Sea Eagles out of finals football. It was no secret that Tom Trevojevic would help their side but I don't think anyone could have predicted the sudden rise in play from when he returned. In just two weeks, Tom had transformed his side into a team who could even compete in the finals. A dominant 36-0 win over the Gold Coast Titans, followed by a 40-6 drubbing of the West Tigers, had catapulted the Seagulls onto everyone's radars. Turbo Tom, in just four appearances, had five tries, eight try assists, and 2.3 tackle breaks per game, putting himself in the top three in all categories across the NRL. Tom's play has also revitalised Daly Cherry Evans and Jason Saab, who were struggling mightily to start the 2021 season, but have bounced back tremendously. Saab in particular has found his form. After not scoring in the first four rounds, Saab has scored in every game since, even claiming a hat-trick in round nine. He's boosted his average run metres from 84 to 137 in just five weeks, with his play a reflection of the overall resurgence of the Manly Seagulls. Number three, it's the Sydney Roosters injury crisis. The Chooks are not on this list because of their performances, as they've been solid in 2021. Their selection is due to their horrendous injury woes the club has faced. In the space of 10 rounds, the Roosters have lost Billy Smith, Luke Keary, Brett Morris and Lindsay Collins all for the entirety of the season. Lachlan Lamb and Boyd Corden have been out for the majority of 2021 but will return whilst backup half Drew Hutchinson is also facing a long injury layoff. At the recording of this video, the Roosters have the biggest injury list of any team with 10 players sidelined. With the NRL being so physical and so fast, injuries are commonplace, although it's the severity of the injuries for the Roosters that is so concerning. The Roosters have been defined in this horrid situation, sitting in 5th place so far, something Roosters fans should be proud of. In 2nd, it's the Canberra Raiders struggles. Heading into Magic Round, the Canberra Raiders are sitting in 12th spot, way below pre-season expectations. If you look here at the NRL pundits' predictions, many have the Canberra Raiders in their top 4, with some even placing them as minor premiers. Injuries have hurt the Canberra Raiders this season, but not to the extent where their performances should be so poor. Coach Ricky Stewart has been livid with their play, dropping Josh Papali'i, Josh Hodgson and Joseph Tarpany. They are currently on a five-game losing streak with their second halves particularly worrisome. In their last five games, in fact, they have been outscored 93-8, an extraordinary statistic. Stewart has called the Raiders' performances this year embarrassing, with many egos and relationships fragmented down in Canberra. Josh Hodgson and Ricky Stewart's beef has been highly publicised whilst Joseph Tarpany's bench situation has also come under scrutiny. I hope for the Raiders' sake that they can recover from their slow start as they are a side that is still capable of playing quality footy. In first place, it's the St George Illawarra Dragons' top 8 push. Predicted by many to be the 2021 Wooden Spooners, the St George Illawarra Dragons have silenced the critics. After an appalling result in the Charity Shield against the Rabbitohs and a convincing defeat in Round 1 against the Sharks, the Dragons were looking like favourites for the Wooden Spoon. The outlook was bleak for the Dragons, but luckily their limited movement in the 2021 offseason has actually paid off. Both McCulloch and Bird have been great, reviving their careers for the Red V. Ben Hunt's selection as captain has also worked with his output prior to his injury excellent. I think the most encouraging thing for the Dragons is that they've been winning collectively. The forwards and backs have contributed equally for their side and were able to win without Ben Hunt through parts of the year. Unlike the Seagulls whose entire offence revolves around Tom Trevojevic, Anthony Griffin has put in place a system that's getting the most out of their entire roster. 
The Dragons currently sit in 6th spot, and if they can continue to hold on inside the top 8, it would be one of the more unlikely and swiftest rebuilds in the modern era. So that ends this video looking at the 5 biggest surprises of the 2021 NRL season so far. If you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comment section. Also a big thank you for the viewership recently, it has been insane. I've got some very different videos planned, so if you're excited for that, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when the next video comes out. Thank you so much for watching.